Do you struggle with self-doubt or anxiety, exhaustion or stress, impulsivity or isolation? Do you ever feel too dominating or too shy to fit in? Chances are that in the course of your life, you will experience at least one of these amongst many other widespread problems. What all of these have in common is that they can result from a poor management of cognitive steering biases. So, what are cognitive steering biases? To understand this, we first need to examine the concept of cognitive steering. Let's imagine your brain is a car. Your IQ can be thought of as the car's engine, determining how fast you can travel or process information. People with high IQs can travel fast, provided the data road is straight, like in a formal teaching classroom. However, Outside the classroom, in the workplace, the social-emotional road is full of bends, signposts and traffic. Every day, we have to navigate different rules, different people, different tasks and different information. In order to be successful in the workplace, the driver needs to be able to steer, changing how they respond and act in different situations. Cognitive steering is the function of the brain that allows you to simulate and select possible responses to new and unfamiliar situations. However, your brain develops certain predispositions in how it steers the road. These are your steering biases. Being unaware of your steering biases limits your ability to succeed in the workplace. On the other hand, People who learn to steer their biases gain a powerful meta skill, helping them succeed in any workplace situation. There are four key steering biases, which can be thought of as levers which you can pull to successfully steer the road ahead. These are trust of self, trust of others, self-disclosure, and seeking change. Trust of self depends on how robust or permeable your sense of self is. Those with a high trust of self assume the validity of their own thoughts and opinions, whereas those with a bias towards a low trust of self assume the opposite, questioning their own perspectives. Those who can steer are able to optimally adjust their trust of self for each workplace situation. Trust of others relates to how available, supportive, and reliable you anticipate others to be. Those with a high trust of others assume that people will give them attention, approval, and support. Those with a low trust of others assume they won't. Again, those who can steer optimally adjust their trust of others depending on the context. Self-disclosure relates to how visible you make your thoughts, feelings, opinions, and ideas. Imagine you have a front and backstage, like a theatre. Those who are low self-disclosing manage and control what information they present to the audience on their front stage. Those who are high self-disclosing open the curtain and allow people see into the details about themselves on their backstage. Once again, Those who are able to steer effectively make the right calls of when to be high or low self-disclosing. Finally, seeking change determines how you manage your relationships, opportunities, ideas and goals. Those who are high seeking change look to expand, explore and change those aspects of their lives, whereas those who are low seeking change work to maintain, stabilize, and consolidate these elements. Individuals who can steer optimally adjust when to be high or low seeking change. It's important to understand that each steering bias doesn't act in isolation. They interact with the other three to generate what we call an influencing strategy. As a result, Those who master the four steering biases have 16 possible influencing strategies at their disposal in the workplace. Each influencing strategy is a unique way in which one can exert targeted and effective influence. 
Each has its own strengths and weaknesses and will be suitable in different workplace contexts. For example, the envisioning strategy is powerful when you first form a team to create buy-in, passion and belief, or at the early stage of a project to generate direction, ideas and possibilities. By contrast, the authoritative strategy is effective in achieving high-pressure strategic goals as quickly and efficiently as possible, or in reassuring and creating confidence in those around you when they are anxious, uneasy, or afraid. The most successful professionals will be able to utilize multiple influencing strategies to effectively manage any situation. The ability to skillfully steer your cognitive biases is crucial to unlocking the full potential of your influence in the workplace. Learn to steer your cognitive biases and master all 16 influencing strategies. You steer data-driven development.